We're getting a lot of the room going on here, wow. Uh, yes, I've been gone from YouTube. It's been quite a minute. Um, but it's been due to, you know, life moving on, life going on. We are done with undergraduate. We are done with uh, my bachelor's degree. We're getting in that thing in the mail, you know, express shipping, hopefully. And when it comes, that'll be the validation, I guess. The the last thing I really need to worry about with the bachelor's stuff is like where I'm gonna put it on my wall. I'm doing grad school in the fall. Um, so your boy's gonna work towards social work. So that's gonna be the new thing. Um, not the new thing, but a continuation, applying what I've learned and such, um, so it's going to be a good time. Today is going to be a kind of a, a return to form in uh, certain ways, uh, back in the room of course, I'm here for the next couple of years, and then we'll see what happens then, but until then I got some time on my hands, and with that time comes another review, and with that review comes more bringing back the Ian interests, the um, the obsessions, some like to call it, and uh, including myself, because uh, self-awareness is the first step to uh, recovery, I guess. Got a box right here. This is uh, quite, I, I can't say this is familiar, because it's a straight up cardboard box, uh, and this is going to be a new taste test video, um, but I figured I would give myself a little bit of a present for finishing school and being back here for the summer, uh, and so we're going to start with that present in the form of a chocolate, what is this called, man? Strawberry cheesecake. I thought it was shortcake. No, stop. This is literally strawberry cheesecake, um, but chocolate edition. I didn't even know. That's insane. I ordered this like a week ago too. My memory is just bad or something. Look at that beautiful bag. Bones coffee, strawberry cheesecake, chocolate edition. I knew that part. I, got, I thought this was strawberry shortcake the whole time. I don't know why, but cheesecake makes it a little bit more exciting here now. Okay, we're gonna spice up that young flavor. Uh, it's 12 ounces. Um, obviously, I'm a huge fan of the art, like the um, the packaging art. So that is one of the pluses, the aesthetic draw of what Bones Coffee has to offer. I have another video for Bones Coffee down below, linked in the description. Uh, if you're either a longtime follower, or if you're curious about to learn more about Bones Coffee, um, but I learned that they're kind of they're vegan. I think it's keto friendly, is what it said. I have a lot of the mini bag samples that I had from the previous video that I did um, saved, so that I can like put them on my wall because they're really nice uh, and you know it's the one coffee company that I just really enjoy the aesthetic of but in terms of flavor which is the most important part really uh, they've never disappoint the flavors are actually amazing uh, it's accentuated a lot not necessarily in just the coffee itself but when you add like creamer to it uh, it brings out like the notes in every single bit of what's marketed you really do get um, and I had a great time. Like one of my favorite videos was making that bones video. So excited to try this flavor. You know, we only have one today to showcase, but I'm very much ready to return to form since it's been like nearly a year since I've had a good bones coffee. Um, and yeah, we're gonna stop talking. We're gonna do some B-roll footage, making the coffee, doing a lot of that camera work stuff that I enjoy. And then we're gonna taste test it once uh, on its own and then once with some vanilla oat milk creamer that I have. All right, you will now be seeing some, some short B-roll footage, I guess, with some lo-fi music, I'm sure. Ooh, that's nice. I'm here with some hummus toast. It has been become a new staple in my life right now. Uh, it's just wonderful. Baller. Beautiful. Um, it is a medium roast, so it's like right down the middle with its strength and also in its caffeine. Just finished brewing that long ago. Um, the aroma in the kitchen is very much strawberry, um, so good job on that bone. Let's go ahead and try this bad boy. We got a strawberry cheesecake with, um, with chocolate flavors. Okay, you know, Bones has got that distinct flavor to it, um, I guess since I know it is Bones, it kind of feels more like Bones, but also, can't make any Bones about it, this is good. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it, dude. It's certainly dark, it's rich. I'm not sure if I'm getting any notes of, like, 
it feels like a sweet note, um, but nothing that's like distinguishable in terms of like strawberry or chocolate. But it's got like a nice like fruity, like, you know, fruity sweet flavor to it. For the real stuff going on, we got planted oat. Um, let's do this thing. I'm gonna put a good amount, just a little bit. Two shots of vodka. And I'm ready to give this a little swirl and a twirl going on. Huh. I can't tell right now. Let me try it again. Just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's just me or if I'm like nose blind. Because I can taste the hummus stuff fine. And like everything else in life. It kind of reminds me a lot of the um, the other flavors I've had. It feels like a French toast off the bat, like if I had to compare in terms of similarity. Oh, slightly more bitter than the French toast. I am struggling a little bit to find the strawberry and the cheesecake, um, but I'm getting the richness of like what I'm assuming to be the chocolate flavor. Um, so it's like a kind of a sweet mix of fruit and chocolate. So it is. It's certainly enhancing the the flavor of um, the coffee. I think without the chocolate, maybe it wouldn't. I don't know if it would distract necessarily from the strawberry and cheesecake, but it's certainly adding to what I'm able to recognize right now. I'm gonna ponder this for like a few seconds. I'm gonna just sit here and do some drinking and uh, see what happens. I'm like halfway done with it, dude. You know, I'm starting to realize <clears throat> this coffee is like so good to the point it's where it's like almost dessert coffee. I mean, I mean, uh, clearly, the way it's marketed and the flavor combinations, but... No, hopefully, uh, hopefully that clears my sinuses. Because it's coffee, right? And the sneezes gave me goosebumps. It's the dang god, it's the dang uh, it, dog fur. It's feeling very much like, you can tell it really sweet and enjoyable and addictive to the point I can just finish one of those things. Like, I can down a Bowen's coffee. Comparatively to, you know, traditional, just dark roast, medium roast. Like, there's something, there's something in Bowen's coffee. Maybe they forgot to put on their website that there's, like, drugs in this. Because it is certainly to the point where I'm, like, considering a monthly subscription or something. I don't know if it's my sinuses or my sinuses, or if it's, like, actually just the coffee, but... Mm. Okay, wait a second. I've discovered a little bit of strawberry. Oh no. Strawberry. Strawberry up in that. I feel like I'm on a farm, 20 minutes out from here, and I just freshly picked a nice batch, a nice harvest. Um, it's resonating in my mouth, and it's liking it. So I think that's what that is, you know? I'm feeling a little bit of that, that, young, that young strawberry coming in. Now I'm still a little on the fence with the cheesecake. You know, I'm like hanging on the fence, I just haven't gotten to the other side, and I don't know if I can get down. But it is quite delicious still. Like, okay, I should have said this already. It's very delicious. It's very nice. Very, very nice and easy to take. Um, but I don't know, man. I think I'm getting more strawberry chocolate. Like chocolate-covered strawberries, maybe. Um, but even then, the notes are very subtle, so I don't know. It's just... I'm feeling like it's French toast, but I don't know why. No, it's a little bit more fruity. Yeah. I don't really know. I think that's all my thoughts on it, you know? Um, I'm just gonna eat some hummus toast, um, some coffee. Vibe. Is that? What is that? Oh, that's a spice. I thought that was a bug. I was like, what the fuck? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time, your viewership, and your engagement with the channel. Um, and I'm gonna do my part, hopefully, to be engaged with the channel so that you guys have stuff to watch. Uh, I really appreciate um, all of the kindness that you guys have shown me. And um, look out for more reaction videos with YouTube, more coffee, more DIY stuff hopefully, like doing like stupid stuff, maybe like more like day in the life. Who knows, who knows man. I'm 22 years old. We'll figure out what, what caters to me years later um, since I started this channel. But thank you guys for now. Uh, I appreciate you as always. Um, I guess I'll see you in another one, dudes. Or what is it? Wait, no, that's not my catchphrase. It's a, uh, it's a uh, peace out, dudes. That's what it is. Mm -hmm.